I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of my bike. Not because it's a brand new bike, but specifically because it's not. <laughs> it's my bike, it's a 2017 uh, Norco Optic. I've had it since 2017, so this thing is five years old. And I absolutely love it. And in the last couple of years, I've made some incredible updates to it that have really transformed it into a bike that I wanna ride for a lot more years. All right, so starting off, the biggest upgrade I made to this bike this year was this dropper post. So I got a We Are One, or oh, sorry, <laughs> a One Up dropper post, and it has been an absolute game changer. Before, I only had about 100 mils of drop, which was good, it was fine. I was able to get my weight behind the seat and everything, but it kind of threw my weight transfer off on the steep stuff. So having this 210 mil travel dropper post, they make up to a 240 now, but 210 has been amazing to drop it and get it completely out of the way in the steep stuff. So it makes it feel like a lot more aggressive bike, especially because the head tube angle on this is like a 67, which is pretty steep by today's standards for a trail bike. It's more in line with like a cross country race bike, even though a lot of those have a more steep, uh, more slack head tube angle. So getting this out of the way, gets my body in the right position to go downhill to have a lot more confidence that the weight I'm distributing on my wheels and to the ground is even. So that has been really, really magical. <laughs> I've enjoyed that a lot. Uh, other upgrades I made to the bike last year, I made upgrades to the wheels and the fork. And that was another absolutely huge, although be it a little more money, this is a couple hundred bucks and that was more but has been really, really important for me, um, being that I am trying to get a little more aggressive with my riding, um, trying to ride this bike in a lot more aggressive terrain that isn't just gonna have, yeah, light things and longer days. So having a bigger fork, the 36 stanchion on here, the SR Sun Tour Duralux, allows me to go longer days without the fluids inside heating up as much. Um, and being able to rock it. I still have the old um, rear shock on it, which is still good with the leverage here. It gives me 120 and that's plenty fine. The only times I have issues with that guy is when I am on really long rides. So last year um, I did go out for a ride with my buddy Kevin at Revelstoke. I can show that video here. And what I found is about a quarter, half the way down, it's like a 20 kilometer descent. It's crazy, it was hot and dry. And about halfway down, that thing just felt like it seized right up. Like it just didn't feel like it had any, um, yeah, travel on it. And what that basically comes down to is just being so hot, being constantly bombarded, that the fluid inside gets so hot and everything, it just expands and just, doesn't seize, but it gets very, very stiff. So that's the only time I really have a problem with it. And I hesitate to update the rear shock because if I ever did get a new frame, let's say, um, I would put all my old stuff back on here and I couldn't generally take a brand new rear shock and put it onto a new bike unless it was miraculously the exact same dimensions, which it wouldn't be. <laughs> um, so, I hesitate to update that and I'd rather not do it. So that's my suspension. Uh, the wheels on this are now the uh, We Are One Agent wheel. So it was their first Enduro wheel. Uh, they've been great. I uh, really enjoy it. Carbon fiber. I don't ride that aggressively that I'm folding over the tire very often. So I don't worry about chipping it and things like that. But they have a great warranty. Bring it in, no questions asked. So hoping I never have to use that. But they've been great, amazing stiff wheels compared to my old uh, aluminum ones. So that's really great. I have the original drivetrain on it, which is the SRAM GX 11 speed drivetrain on it. Um, the only update I've made to the drivetrain really, aside from the pedals, is uh, is the chain ring at the front. I have a smaller chain ring because I don't have the dinner plate that a 12 speed has. So basically I'm pushing up a harder gear, which I kind of like. I don't like to push up a really easy gear anyways and spin too fast, so my cadence is quite low, so I really enjoy that. Got a new chain on it and a new cassette on it this year. So that's just typical maintenance, no issues there. Saddle's been the same forever. Uh, bars are, I think, 780 wide, which is plenty wide. I would actually probably go a little narrower, but, uh, but they've been very good. They're quite a flat 
uh, handlebar. Uh, there's no real rise to it, maybe like a 10 mil rise to it. But uh, so I, I might want to bring that up, but I find just putting in the spacers and the stem there, bring it up to a good height for me. Um, keeps me nice and low, so I am a little more aggressive. Uh, I do have the Dior XT brakes on it, which I really like, but I'm not a guy that's tried a bunch of different brakes. I think I've tried the old Avids, of course, and then uh, the bike came with Maguras, which I wasn't a fan of, but uh, that's just preference, I think. And then I just settled back on what I know and what I know how to bleed and what I know is reliable in my opinion. And that's been Shimano has been amazing for that. But yeah, it's been an absolute fantastic bike and I look forward to riding it for years to come here. So yeah, you, that's it. See you out there.